Hey everyone, Dusty here. Today I'm going to give you my top five tips on things to avoid when it comes time to taper for your big race. So my first tip involves a couple of different things. The first being athletes that feel like they need to do more mileage during their taper time. You've put in the work, you need to trust the process and taper time means cutting back on mileage. And then on the flip side of that, you have some athletes who take tapering a little bit too far and actually cut out all intensity and any sort of hard interval training. When we taper, yes, we wanna cut back on mileage. However, you'll still wanna keep doing some intervals, some sort of intensity, just so that you don't feel flat come race day. Tip number two involves a couple of things as well. The first being those athletes that think that they need to go on a diet race week to lose those few extra pounds. Race week is not the time to lose weight and your body's required nutrition and calories that you need on race week. If you're going to be limiting that, it's just gonna make you feel flat come race day. And then on the flip side of that, we have the athletes who binge and carbo load like crazy. No, you don't need a huge plate of pasta the night before and you don't need a monstrous breakfast to help you get through your half marathon, 10K or Ironman, whatever. Save the treats, save the beer, save all of that sort of stuff till after the race. Eat clean during your taper time, but don't think that you also need to cut out everything and lose that 10 pounds to help you go a little bit faster. It's not going to be worth it and taper time isn't the time to do that. And my third tip is something that all athletes know, all athletes have been told, but athletes do it all the time, and that is trying something new. So of course this especially applies to race day, but same thing with taper week. Taper week isn't the time to be trying new nutrition, trying new gear, or even trying new shoes. You need to have that stuff set in place before you enter taper time. And number four is something that might not affect all of you, but for those of you that are affected by others, other people's nervous energy, I would recommend that you don't overdo the expo. So the expo and race package pickup is a place where all of your competitors and athletes doing the race are going to be. And if that sort of thing affects you and can make you anxious, then I recommend you get in and get out. Typically your race package pickup is done one to two days before the race, so you'll want to be off your feet for most of those days anyways. So don't make yourself nervous and look at all the athletes at the race expo and think, oh, they look fitter than me and put all of that nervous energy in your head. For some people, the expo is good and it'll get you hyped up, but for other people, it's just gonna create more nervous energy and that's not good leading into a race. All right, my fifth and final tip for you is one that ties all of these tips together and that is those athletes who don't trust the taper. I know we've all experienced this, I've experienced this. You build up for four or five months for let's say an Ironman and then depending on the athlete, you're required to taper for three to two to one weeks out from the race and cut back on mileage. It's just hard to mentally wrap your head around that when you've been working so hard and putting in these big sessions and then cutting them short as soon as that taper hits. You have to trust the process, you have to trust that you've put in the work and even if you haven't put in the work, you have to trust the work that you did put in because it's too late to cram it all in now. Just remember, you're not going to gain any significant fitness in the week leading into a race, so trust the taper process, trust the work that you've put in and know that this is how you're supposed to go about a race. You're supposed to taper and, and then hopefully you'll be hitting peak fitness around race day. So those are my top five tips. I hope some of those help you taper for your next race. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe for more everything running triathlon and nutrition related.